Hello, everybody. It is January 10th, and this is Mr. Reckler's Weekly Webcast. I hope everybody had a fantastic winter break. I did as well. Um, it was very nice and relaxing. So back to work we are, and back to work we go. Yes, and we've hit the ground running, and they're doing great. Um, first thing we're talking about is report cards. They should be live on Parent View right very now. So go ahead and jump up on Parent View, and you should be able to review the second quarter uh, grades. Um, included in everybody's comments is an RI reading inventory and an MI math inventory score. Uh, the RI lexile and the MI quintile, these are their words, not mine, uh, are a sliding scale and they are uh, uh, given a scale based on the end of the year and where we want them to be in May when we finish school. If you look in the parent information tab, at the very top of the OneNote, the very first page should be an RIMI uh, page with a scale in there to be able to show you where they're falling in all of the numbers uh, uh, on the sliding scales. It, it's a little confusing, but nonetheless, the, the sliding scales are there in the OneNote for you to use and to be able to gauge just where they are mathematically and reading-wise. Reading-wise, almost every single person in class is on grade level, so that's huge. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, moving on to Prodigy. Yes, thank you all for downloading that before we came back on Monday. Everyone has joined the class account, and we're off and playing. And I know you're like banging your heads on the wall because they won't stop. That'll wear out in a week or two, and it'll just be another thing to do versus this new shiny. Um, do me a favor. Don't tell them they're learning. Please, they think it's a game. They have no idea that they're working on their math skills as hard as they are. They're enjoying it. And they're having a great time. Uh, all things in moderation, though. You know, screen time, I, I support you 100%. They really don't need to sit and play it for three hours straight. Uh, it's really not intended to be that kind of a game. Um, also, please don't buy the premium account. You don't need it for what we do. It's a free app. It's a free game. The premium account just gets you some more bells and whistles, but it doesn't really uh, aid the uh, education process. So you do not need to spend any more money. Um, the nice thing is, is that I can assign standards for them to work on, to reinforce, to practice, uh, to extend based on where we are and what we're doing in math. So it's, it's, a, it's a great learning tool for them and they do enjoy playing it. So, hey, why not use it, right? Um, moving on, the 10 book challenge, yes. This challenge is completed Friday, April 3rd, 2020. That is the Friday before we go on spring break. And uh, their reward for completing the 10 book challenge is an invitation to a big ice cream party. Uh, and I'm not gonna get that big bucket of icky white ice cream generic stuff. We're, we're going premium blends here. We're going top shelf all the way. Uh, so everyone's gonna get their own little uh, 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 pint of ice cream and hot fudge and cherries and whipped cream and sprinkles and all the other goodies that go with it. Uh, and we will celebrate a, a job well done. Uh, what is this 10 book challenge? Well, if you look in their reading journal, under the reading logs tab, you will find the 10 book challenge page. And uh, there's nine different genres, you know, fantasy, uh, science fiction, uh, uh, historical fiction, uh, informational, all that stuff. And their goal is to read one of each of the nine genres that is outlined in uh, on that page. Um, and then from there, they, they can read a 10th book under their favorite genre. Bunch of things happening here. A, we're getting them to read, which is a must. We got a bunch of them who aren't reading as much as they could or should be. Um, B, we're getting them excited about reading and we're getting them exposed to different genres. So many of them are pigeonholed and I only want to read the I Survive books. I know, right? Um, and this is going to break them out of that and get them uh, experimenting in other genres and in other flavors of books. Um, the only real restrictions aside from the genres are the books need to be at least 100 pages long. I'll go down to 95-ish, but not much lower than that. Um, also, don't put it off until, you know, April. <laughs> um, really, we got to start this now. It's a long process. I don't want them to be left out. I don't want them to uh, uh, be cramming, trying to read 10 books in two weeks. 
because it's the end of March and, you know, it, it's due tomorrow. Um, it, it's, it won't work that way. So everyone seems to be fired up about it, which is awesome. Everyone seems to be reading right now, which is awesome. If you would help me continue that motivation, uh, keep reminding them about that ice cream party and how wonderful that ice cream is going to be. And uh, hopefully we'll get those reading levels shooting up through the roof because we'll be reading all these kinds of wonderful, wonderful books. Finally, what's going on in class? Well, it's the first week of a new semester, the first week of a new quarter. So, of course, we're starting all kinds of new stuff. Uh, in math, we have begun our fractions unit. Hold on tight, folks. It just gets better and better. Uh, there will be some flip lessons along the way when needed to explain the processes of what we are doing. So don't panic when they're showing you something new. And please, again, with as with always with math, don't show them your way to do it because that really just confuses them even further. Uh, reading, we have begun a Roald Dahl study. Uh, we are reading two books, Matilda or BFG. All the girls are reading Matilda. All the guys are reading BFG. If time allows, we're going to flip and uh, read the other books down the road. We'll see. I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm doing some new units with these. So uh, it's my first time uh, uh, teaching these new units. I've taught these books for years. Uh, but this is a brand new uh, reading unit that I'm doing with them. So we'll see how long that takes. If there is time, we'll read the other book. Uh, writing, we have begun our opinion writing. And uh, we are writing an opinion about Fortnite. Nothing more controversial in their eyes, as far as I can tell. Uh, we have had some really interesting conversations this week. And I apologize up front for coming home with some crazy stuff. Um, but uh, it's been a good week of learning and, and analyzing an argument and how to build an argument for for your opinion. So uh, it's been good work this week. In science, we've begun our weather unit and we've been analyzing the water cycle. Dinosaur pee, I know, right? And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, ask them because yes, learning. And uh, we have built some water cycle in the baggies and have them tell you all about those. And finally, social studies. Next week, we will begin our Western expansion unit which will uh, uh, begin to uh, uh, move into the Civil War uh, further down the road. So, yes, that's everything. Thank you all for sticking with me. Have a fantastic weekend. Stay dry tomorrow. Oh, weather unit, storms. Take a look at those storms. Uh, have a good time with those. And uh, uh, hopefully we won't get too blasted tomorrow. Everybody have a great night, a great weekend, and we'll see you all on Monday. Oh, that reminds me. Target starts on Monday. Don't forget. Go to Target on Monday if you're a Target kid. Bye, everyone.